Amid the escalating conflict between Russia and Ukraine, the air has become the most dangerous dimension. Artillery and air defense systems play a vital role, targeting enemy positions and defending critical infrastructure. So both Russia and Ukraine must deploy sophisticated air defense systems to ward off air attacks from each side. There are so many anti-ballistic missile systems at play in the Russia-Ukraine theater. For the sake of conciseness, we will only examine the performance of the US-made Patriot and Russian S-400 ABM systems. Which air defense system reigns supreme? Is it the Russian S-400 Triumph, hailed as one of the most sophisticated systems globally? Or the American Patriot, renowned for its battlefield reliability? Let's explore this rivalry. The S-400 Triumph, developed by Russia's Almaz Ante, entered service in 2007. The system boasts remarkable versatility, capable of engaging aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles at varying ranges. The S-400 utilizes seven different types of anti-aircraft missile. Its maximum range extends up to 400 kilometers, with a top interception speed of 4.8 kilometers per second, making it a formidable shield against aerial threats. The S-400 employs a variety of missiles tailored for specific threats, adding to its adaptability. In contrast, the American Patriot system, developed by Raytheon, dates back to the 1980s. It excels in intercepting aircraft and ballistic missiles with a range of around 160 kilometers and a top speed of Mach 5. The system is supported by advanced radar technology, capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously, a feature crucial for modern warfare. The S-400 has been operationally deployed in various hotspots, including Syria, where it provided air cover for Russian forces. Nations like China, India, and Turkey have also procured the system, indicating its global appeal. However, the S-400's real-world performance remains partially veiled in secrecy, with limited confirmed reports of successful engagements. The Patriot system, on the other hand, has a proven track record, particularly in the Middle East. It was notably used during the Gulf War to intercept Iraqi Scud missiles and continues to protect U.S. allies like Israel and Saudi Arabia. Its success rate, however, has been debated, with critics pointing out vulnerabilities against advanced missile systems. Pentagon report released approximately 10 years ago revealed that the system's successful interception rate barely reached 10%. Despite the Patriot system's subpar performance, the U.S. has continued to refine and upgrade the system supplying it to ally nations worldwide. Not to be outdone, Russia has developed its own series of ABM systems, including the S-300, S-400, and S-500. The manufacturer of the S-400 air defense system, Almazanti Air and Space Defense Corporation, claims the system is specifically designed to neutralize strategic and tactical aircraft, as well as ballistic and cruise missiles. The S-400 has long been regarded as a cornerstone of Russian air defense capabilities, and the Russian military has frequently employed long-range anti-aircraft missile systems not only for defensive purposes, but also in offensive operations. Even before Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the International Institute for Strategic Studies recognized the S-400 as one of the world's most advanced air defense systems. However, its operational performance has frequently fallen short of expectations, with significant vulnerabilities coming to light during Russia's ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Despite Russian claims that the S-400 surpasses the U.S. Patriot missile defense system, real-world scenarios have highlighted its weaknesses, particularly against drone attacks. This became especially apparent during Ukrainian strikes in Crimea, 
where the S-400 struggled to counter aerial threats posed by relatively inexpensive drones. Even in 2024, the system's reputation continues to be undermined. For instance, in April 2024, Ukraine's military intelligence reported the destruction of multiple S-400 launchers during an overnight strike on the Jankoy military base in Crimea. This operation reportedly caused severe damage to four S-400 launchers and three radar stations, further emphasizing the system's vulnerability. Experts, including those from the Swedish Defense Research Agency, suggest that Russia may have deliberately exaggerated the S-400's capabilities to intimidate adversaries. This narrative could face even greater scrutiny as Ukraine begins receiving U.S.-supplied Atakem's ballistic missiles. Analysts speculate that the S-400 may struggle to effectively intercept these advanced long-range missiles, potentially rendering it less relevant on the modern battlefield. As for the U.S. Patriot missile defense system, its performance has also faced criticism, with operational results often falling short of promotional claims. Both the Patriot and S-400 systems are reportedly vulnerable to electronic jamming and targeted attacks. However, the S-400 is generally praised for its superior mobility and faster deployment capabilities compared to the Patriot. Nonetheless, the Patriot system has not been immune to setbacks. On May 15, 2023, a Patriot system was reportedly destroyed after repeated Russian missile strikes revealed its position. Later, in August 2024, the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that two Patriot launchers were destroyed in the Lyubimovka area of Dnipropetrovsk following missile strikes that targeted their locations. Another significant incident occurred on October 10, 2024, when Russia claimed to have struck two Patriot launcher stations, along with a control station and radar equipment, in Pavlograd, Dnipropetrovsk region. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the attack not only damaged key Patriot system components, but also resulted in casualties among troops and the destruction of additional military equipment in the area. Both the S-400 and Patriot systems have strengths and weaknesses, and their effectiveness often depends on the operational context. While the S-400 is praised for its range and versatility, its vulnerabilities in the Ukrainian conflict raise questions about its adaptability to modern warfare. Conversely, the Patriot, despite its extensive upgrade history, has also demonstrated limitations, particularly against newer, more advanced threats. Ultimately, neither system emerges as an undisputed leader. The ongoing developments in the Russia-Ukraine conflict will likely continue to test the limits of both, providing valuable insights into the future of air defense technology.